hours after his historic win in the U.S. state of New Hampshire, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders turned his attention toward winning the trust of a key demographic needed to win the White House. Sanders' popularity among white voters and young people has been rising for months, but he's failed to ignite the political passions among voters of color, who in polls still favor his opponent, Hillary Clinton. It's something he promises to change. What happened here in New Hampshire in terms of an enthusiastic and aroused electorate, people who came out in large numbers, that is what will happen all over this country. Sanders' anti-establishment message has dictated debate and left his rival Hillary Clinton heading into South Carolina's primary, struggling to find her footing. I know I have some work to do, particularly with young people, but I will repeat again what I have said this week. Even, even if they are not supporting me now, I support them. But like the Democratic race, establishment candidates fighting for second place in the crowded Republican contest are facing similar obstacles. U.S. voters are looking for alternatives who do not represent the status quo. I like Trump. Um, uh, you know, he's straightforward of, of, of the things that he's saying. There's such an anti-establishment uh, environment out there that people are looking for an escape. Political analyst Lara Brown says political populism on the right and left will translate into more negative attacks between candidates on both sides vying for their party's nominations. Because both Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders are so negative, the other candidates will start to adopt more of that negativity to try to peel away their voters. Thank you very much. That makes the next big contest in Nevada and South Carolina critical. Given the state's more demographically diverse voters, the populist message of Trump and Sanders could be facing its first real test. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.